Gentlemen. That was good. That was pretty good. All right, boys. So, as we know, week two in the books. Our commissioner fucking sucks, but that's all right. Uh, besides the point. So, we're going to go over a couple quick things here uh, this week. We're going to go over last week's matchups, this week's matchups, quick power rankings. And then we're going to go over a little superlative, but uh, we'll wait for that one. So, okay, let's, uh, let's get this going. Unfortunately, I couldn't figure out how to share my screen, so I'm going to take a video. So we're going to go through it. Uh, last week's matchups, um, me and Dan, I'll go through first. Um, obviously, big hit, Saquon out for the year. Really sucked. Um, obviously, my number one overall pick, um, gone for the season. So that sucks. Um, Dan had a strong outing. Uh, Deshaun Watson, I don't think, has been great this year so far, but he's averaging a decent amount of points. Um, CEH did okay. Um, Aaron Jones fucking blew up, 51 points almost. Odell with an average game. Uh, really hasn't been the Odell that we usually see uh, in previous years, but um, I think he's still got the talent. I think Baker Mayfield just kind of sucks. <clears throat> uh, Will Fuller had a goose egg which was very surprising. I think he got injured, though, uh, in the first or second quarter, so that's probably why. Um, Jared Cook did okay. I really don't think Drew Brees is connecting with anyone very well. Uh, he was connected with MT pretty well, but obviously uh, Michael Thomas is out. Uh, Metcalf, good game. Obviously, he got you know he got deep on Gilmore on that play. I really don't think there was anything Gilmore could do to you know stop the 6'5", 260-pound beast that is DK Metcalf. Um, but Dan dropped 140 points, which is really a, a solid amount of points. Obviously, I just shot him to beer, so I am the lowest scoring. Um, Kyler Murray had a great game at 34. Um, Saquon obviously had only, only three points because he got injured. Uh, Rojo, 10. Keenan had a decent game with 17. Adam Thielen, Kirk Cousins sucked ass, so he had six. Um, Kittle was injured, so I had to play Logan Thomas, who actually I think is going to be a good tight end this year if anyone uh, is thinking of picking someone up. Um, he's getting nine targets a game just about. Um, I think he's going to be pretty heavily involved in that um, that offense. Uh, Brian Edwards. Actually, Holmes, I'm pretty excited about Brian Edwards because Emmanuel Sanders was fucking awful. So appreciate that. You gave me a man. Awesome. Um, Steelers D and, and my kicker, whatever. Um, obviously Leonard Fournette had a fucking great game, broke off that 46 yard TD run. Um, so he was on my bench with 30 points and Cam Newton also had a really good game with 40. So I lost. Oh, well, one and one. Um, we're going to go to the next game, which was Mark and Sage. Uh, we, we kind of knew who was going to win this one. Um, Sage obviously won. Um, some of Mark's Players, Aaron Rodgers did okay. Joe Mixon, eh, Gurley, not really. Allen Robinson's been struggling. Gallup's been struggling. Darren Waller had a fucking baller game. Derek Carr was targeting him nonstop. Mark Ingram had a touchdown, which gave him pretty good points. Um, other than that, uh, I, don't, I mean, with MT out, he's kind of struggling. So um, Sage, obviously Lamar has been solid. He had 20. Uh, Raheem Mostert, who got hurt. Uh, had 20. Mike Evans had a good game with 26. Edelman balled out with Newton for 28 points, most yards he's had uh, in a game, which was sweet. No one really on the bench um, made anything worthwhile. So obviously Mark's 0-2, Sage is 2-0. So that's a good start for Sage. Uh, next was Lulu and Nate. Uh, Lulu won. We're not used to seeing this kind of shit from Lewis. He's actually winning. Uh, Russell Wilson's been nasty. Derrick Henry has been okay. <clears throat> getting a lot of work, but not getting the points of the touchdowns. Melvin Gordon was okay. Amari was okay. Travis Kelsey had a great game. Um, so that's really his, his highlights. And then, um, you know, for Nate, Austin Eckler had a good game, and David Montgomery had a good game. Um, other than that, David Johnson struggled. Julio struggled. I think he got injured. Breeze struggled. Hunter Henry had an okay game with 14. Uh, his defense had zero. So, you know, I'm with you, Nate. I kind of feel feel your pain. Um, Nard and Andrew. Nard's 2-0. Friggy 0-2. Very close-ass game. Andrew, I thought you had it, to be honest with you. But, uh, unfortunately, the big nod took it home. Uh, Patty Mahomes, Zeke had great games. Tyler Lockett had a good game. 
his defense had 15 and his kicker had 13, which was pretty crazy. Um, Andrew, Kareem Hunt had a great game. Tyreek, DJ Moore had a good game. Uh, but you also had Tyler Higby on the bench with 28. Deontay Johnson with 24. So you definitely could have had that game. I mean, C.D. Lamb had 20 on the bench as well. Um, Chris Herndon only had 1.5. So, <clears throat> Andrew, I think you'll get it back in line. No worries, kid. Um, Weston and Kevin. Weston won. Not a surprise. I think Kevin has a good team. So I don't think this is anything to, you know, hate on Kev's team. But Dak had 46. Kamara had 40. That's pretty much the game right there. The rest of... You know, he had Dak at 46, Kamara at 40, and Calvin Ridley at 31. That's that's all you really need. Uh, other than that, if your guys can score 10 points, you're in, you're in good shape. So that's pretty much what happened. Um, Kevin, Brady, I just don't think has it. I think they're going to win, but I don't think he's going to be outstanding. Miles Sanders had a good game. Jonathan Taylor's getting into his role nicely. DeAndre Hopkins, great game. Tyler Boyd had a good game. Hayden Hurst had a good game. I think you really – your team did well. I just think it was just a bad – you know, it's hard to go up against that. You drop 170. So, um, last was Holmes and uh, Billy, one one Team Kamish took it. Uh, fuck the Kamish. Uh, he gets way too fired up when he's not fighting fires. Um, Josh Allen had a good game of 40. Chubb had 30. Connor, 23. And Stephon had 31. Again, that's really all you need. Um, so Holmes' team is looking really solid. Uh, Billy, you had, a good, you had a good week, man. Matt Ryan with 30. Christian McCaffrey, 26. Chris Carson, 20. McLaurin, 28. I mean, you had a good week, man. It's just unfortunate now that obviously you're going to be missing CMC, uh, which sucks ass, to be honest with you. Uh, but I definitely feel you there. So, all right, let's go over uh, this week's matchups. If I can get this thing up here. All right, so let's see. Um, let's go backwards. I'm going to start with Team Holmes, uh, Kamish, and Weston. Um not sure why this isn't popping up correctly. I'll go on my phone here. All right. So, Holmes <coughs> and Weston. Um, I'm going to give this one to Holmes, even though it fucking kills me to say that, especially after this week. Um I think that his team is just strong. I think Devontae, if he plays, is going to have a big game. Uh, Diggs has been a target machine. Connor and Chubb have been great. Allen's been great as well. I honestly think his team is very strong. I think T.Y. could have a big game. Um, so I, I'm going to give this one to Holmes. Wes, I think you put up some good numbers. Obviously, your team's really good. Dak, Alvin, Kamara, Drake, who's been struggling a little bit. He's not getting involved in that passing game as much. Juju, uh, questionable, but... Um, Deontay Johnson's also taken some targets from him. Um, but I think you got a good team, man. I think uh, I think you're good, but I'm going to give Holmes a 2-1. and one. I think Wes is going to get his first loss. Uh, Billy and Nard, easy. Uh, Nard's going to win this one. Uh, Billy, you don't have CMC. That's just um, really what your team was kind of banking on. Uh, Matt Ryan's been solid. Carson's been solid. But Hyde's been getting in there a little bit, too. Um, I think he's going to be a solid running back, but I just think there's going to be a little bit of, uh, of runs going with him. Henderson, I mean, he's, I don't think, I don't really think he's the guy. Uh, I think Brown's the guy, so not a good running back too, but also I feel you. Uh, Kenny Galladay, if he's healthy, is, is definitely a must play. I think he would do okay. I don't know if they're going to rush him right back in. McLaurin's been a target machine. I don't know how much they can keep that up hitting him. Um, so I'm not sure. Zach Ertz, obviously Goddard's been taking a lot of his targets, which is which is tough for Ertz because usually he's a top tight end. Um, and Akil Harry, you know, I think Cam Newton keeps their own, but he's really moving the ball around between um, Edelman, Nikhil, and uh, Myers, I think, whatever his name is. Um, so I think Nard takes it. Patty, Zeke, uh, I think Josh Kelly has a good game. He's got Godwin back, Lockett. So I think that's an easy win for Nardo. Uh, to get to three and zero, Billy's going to be one two. Um, Weston and Andrew, both zero and two. You really don't want to be the team that starts zero and three. Uh, surprisingly enough, I'm going to give this one to Andrew. 
Um, just looking at the lineups, you know, Kyler versus Garner Minshew. Kyler, I, Kyler's been lights out, so I think that's a no-brainer. Josh Jacobs has been great. Miles Sanders had a good game. I don't know if he can keep up with uh, Josh Jacobs, Cream Hunt, and Taylor. Taylor's good. Cream Hunt can just score points. He's out of the backfield. Those old side passes are great. Uh, DeAndre and Tyreek, that could go either way. Uh, Tyreek's a big play guy, and DeAndre is just a target machine, obviously, for Kyler. So um, both good there. Um, and then going down, it's like Boyd, Lamb, Higby, Hurst. You know, um, I'm just going to give this one an art. I mean, uh, sorry, Andrew, I think I just got a feeling um, Andrew backed me up against Holmes because Holmes was being an unreasonable little bitch. Uh, I was also bitching, so I can't really say that. But uh, I'm going to give that one to Andrew. Nard and Lewis, I'm um, going to give this one to, I mean, Dan and Lewis, I'm going to give this one to Dan. Um, I think CEH goes off. I think Aaron Jones goes off again. I think Deshaun Watson finally has the game that we all think he can have. Um, and I also think Odell has a big game. Uh, AJ Green can't get in, you know, in contact with Burrow. They're not there. Uh, Darius Slayton. That offense is going to be a fucking shit show. Um, to be honest, I think Ingram gets most of the passes. Um, and if Shepard comes back, I don't, I don't think Slayton's going to be a big play there. Mark Cooper, okay. Um, so I, I'm going to give that one to Dan uh, to get 2-1, and one, Lewis to get his first loss. Nate and Mark, honestly, I'm going to give this one to Nate. Um, I hope I, I'm a big fan of Drew Brees, so I hope Drew Brees has a big week. Um, I think Eckler is going to have a really good week. I also think David Johnson's going to bounce back pretty heavy, um, this week, which is going to be good to see. Um, I, I, again, Mark Scott, you know, Darren Waller, Mixon Gurley, um, Mike Davis, no one knows, you know, Mike Davis might get 10 rushes. He might get 20. Um, I don't really know. I, you know, no one can really predict what he's going to be in the role. So I'm going to give this one to Nate and Mark's going to go on three. Um, last one would be myself and Sage. Um, obviously I'm going to give myself this one. Um, whether I think it will actually happen or not is, uh, besides point. Um, I'm sure everyone's going to hate my team anyways, because obviously I got fucked with Saquon. So whatever. Um, I think I made a pretty solid trade last week. So, um, but I'm going to give myself, I think Cam Newton has another great, great week um i think leonard fournette is really starting to push himself into that lead back role he's kind of just moving rojo out um he's kind of becoming the one that brady can depend on um seeing as those of a fumble with rojo and um, mccoy last week so i'm gonna give you know i think i think fournette's gonna have a good week um i think thielen finally has a big week he is the fucking guy in minnesota I just need Kirk Cousins to throw the football to him accurately. Um, DJ Moore, Kittle, if he's back, I think he has a big game. Keenan Allen, if Herbert's back, I honestly think those two are going to are gonna light it up. I think Herbert looked great. He was throwing to uh, Keenan a lot. Um, Sage, I think Dalvin Cook has a great game. I think Edelman has a good game. I don't think Mark Andrews has a good game. Um, I, I don't like the Marquise Brown, Mark Andrews play. Um I don't know. That's just me. But, you know, Jarek McKinnon is, you know, whatever. He's the same as probably Antonio Gibson. They're both not great. But I'm going to give that to myself. So hopefully I can hold that up. Um, okay. So the power rankings here, guys. Um, so, you know, everyone always fucking hates on me for where I put myself. Everyone hates on everyone for where they put themselves. So whatever. Um, so... I'm going to go through my power rankings quickly. Um, at 12, obviously, I have um, Billy. Um, I think Billy's team is just not going to be able to withstand without CMC. I think his team is run by CMC. Um Really, it. You know, we had Gronk who's struggling, Ertz is struggling, Nikhil Harry, yeah, he'll have an okay week. Daryl Henderson, no. Carson, you know, he's good for 15 a week. Uh, and Matt Ryan's a good quarterback, but I just don't think that without CMC, he can really win many games. Um, at 11, uh, I'm going to put Nate. Um, 
nothing against you, Nate. I just, you know, I don't think your team is uh, very good. Um, so, you know, he's got Eckler, who Kelly is coming in and taking a lot of those rushes. Uh, Johnson, who I think, I think bounces back, but I don't think he's going to be what Nate thinks he want, is, is going to be. Um, Julio, I mean, Jesus Christ, Calvin Ridley is the top wide receiver in fantasy football. So I don't know what's going to happen there, but I don't think he's going to be the, the guy. I mean, Russell Gage is having a great season, too. Um, <clears throat> he's not the only guy that Matt can throw to anymore. Cooper Cup has been struggling. I, I I don't think he's that good. I, I, I mean, Goff hasn't been playing that well. I just think that's a, an average um, player. Uh, David Montgomery definitely can't hold up what he did last week. He was an okay last week, but I don't think he's going to hold that. Uh, Hunter Henry, yeah, he'll get he'll get a decent. He's a he's a good tight end, but um, I, you know, I just I don't think there's much there to build off of. I think Drew Brees is struggling hard, and I hope he comes back, but I don't think he will. Um, so Nate, you are number 11, my friend. Um, number 10, this one was, uh, you know, bounced back a couple times. Um, but you know, I'm going to give it to Andrew. Um, again, I think Andrew's team has a long way to go. Um, I think he's making some good moves, but I'm going to put him at number 10. Uh, Kyler Murray, Josh Jacobs, Kareem Hunt, Tyreek, um, and then it kind of falls off. I don't think C.D. Lamb is going to be able to withhold a lot. Higby depends. He had a good week last week, but no one really knows yet. Um, Deontay Johnson, yeah, he had a good week, but you, we don't know. You know, he's projected all these points, but you just don't know. Um, you know, his bench, D.J. Shark has been not great. He's kind of hurt. Jameson Crowder, you know, um, nothing great. With Le'Veon on the bench, but I think Le'Veon's ass. I don't think Le'Veon has anything left. So, um, I'm going to put Nate, I mean, uh, Andrew at 10. Number nine, I'm going to put Kevin. Um, Kev, I do like your team. I do. I think it's, uh, I think Garner Minshew is doing what I don't think he holds off. I, I don't think he holds what he's doing. And then I like your next three, Miles Sanders, good running back. John Taylor, going to be a good running back with Milo Mack out. And DeAndre, great. Um, <clears throat> After that, falls off. Tyler Boyd, I mean, A.J. Green is the guy. A.J. Green is the one they are throwing to. Uh, there's just no connection, so I think A.J. Green's the guy. Um, Hayden Hurst, too many weapons in Atlanta um, for him to maintain any sort of fantasy relevancy. Uh, Russell Gage, yeah, he'll be okay, but he's like the third weapon behind Calvin um, and Julio, so... I don't even know if I'd play him at your Philax. I think there's guys on your bench that I would play over him, like John Brown, um, to be honest with you. But, Jeff, I got you at uh, nine. Um, so, for eight, I have myself. Um, I don't know if you guys think I'm supposed to be in last, whatever. But um, I don't, you know, my team obviously isn't what it should or could be. With um, but... I think I made a pretty good trade last week with Andrew to really help my team out. Um, Cam Newton's been lights out. I think Leonard Fournette is pushing into a great role. Uh, my second running back sucks. Antonio Gibson. Uh, it was either him or Frank Gore. I think Gibson is showing some, you know, some flashes of good running back skills. Um, so I think he could be an okay RB2. You know, maybe he's, he's more of a flex, but that's where I got to put him. I think Thielen starts connecting with Cousins. DJ Moore showed that he, you know, he's going to connect with Bridgewater. Um, Kittle, when he's back, you know, he, he's George Kittle. He's one of the best tight end fa fantasy tight ends in the game or tight ends in the game. And Keenan, as a flex, is showing signs of good shit. I mean, he's, he's getting in touch with Herbert quite a bit. So um, I have myself at, you know, eight. Um I think I still got some moves I want to make. Um, I got some players to trade. Um, but I think how my team looks now, I, you know, around 7-8 is a decent, decent mark to put me at. Um, so for number seven, you know, I really thought, you know, I think my team is, is um, better than his, but I didn't really put it there. Um, I think Dan's next. Um, 
Dan, I, I like your team, man. Uh, we, we, you know, we talk quite a bit about um, what we think of each other's teams and, and, and whatnot. So I'll put you at six. You got a good team, Deshaun Watson, CEH, Aaron Jones. I think your wide receiver is a little bit of a struggle. I think your tight end is quite a bit of a struggle. But, you know, I think Odell and DK can, can carry you through quite a bit. Um, uh, so for number six, who did I have here? Um, for number six, I had Mark. Um, I don't really like Mark's team, but, um, MT's on the bench. So I think MT comes back, makes a big step into his team. I mean, Joe Mixon and Todd Gurley are going to be – they're workhorses, work horses, so they're going to get the runs. doesn't matter. They're going to hopefully get the touchdown opportunities. I think Allen Robinson uh, and Trubisky get back together. I think he's a good, solid wide receiver, too. He's going to get you 15 points a week. Gallup struggling. I don't think he does much, but obviously MT would move back into that role. Darren Waller showed he's a beast last week. I think he is a beast. I think he's the guy to go to uh, right now in in Las Vegas. So um, I go. I like that. And you know, Mike Davis as a flex could be a great flex because he's an RB one. And you have Freeman, you son of a motherfucking bitch. Um, but who knows? Deion Lewis could come out and shine. You, you, we don't know. I, I'm a, I'm assuming Freeman gets the plays, but you know, I put you at number six. Um, number five. Uh, bold move, Lulu, Lewis, um, Lou, like your team. Um, but I think you shouldn't be as high as I think other people would put you, um, unfortunately. So Lewis, Russell Wilson, Derek Henry has been average. Melvin Gordon, Mark Cooper, Green just hasn't been getting in, in you know, the title, well, the passes, fucking accurate kelsey's good and i think darius slayton's a fucking bum um because i think that offense is fucked either way um so i'm gonna put you at number five um these next four i'm gonna go through pretty quick because i don't really think there's much um to debate i think nard is at four i like zeke and mahomes i mean that is a great team he really that's all he needs um Excuse me. And, uh, you know, he's got Godwin and Lockett looks great. So uh, I think those four players are good enough to, you know, put him in a good spot. Um, oh, number three, number three, number three. I'm going to give Sage. Um, Sage, you have a good team. Uh, hopefully I wipe the floor with you this week. Probably won't happen, but what are you going to do? Lamar, Dalvin, Jack McKinnon struggles, obviously. Most are back. Evans, Julian, if he can withhold it. I don't like Mark Andrews right now, and I don't like Marquise Brown. I don't like them in the same lineup together on your team. Um, so, yeah, still a great rating, obviously, your number three. Number two, I got Holmes. Holmes, you have a good team, bro. Um I really like your team. I don't think people would put you right now, even though, again, you were a fucking douchebag this week, but that's okay. Um, Josh Allen's been strong. Chubb and Connor have been strong. Devontae Adams is healthy. He's really strong. Diggs has been really strong. And T.Y. has been strong. I think you got a great team, bro. you got James White on the bench. Benny Snell, just in case. Malcolm Brown. Akers, I mean, I like your team. I like Gusecki as well. I would honestly almost start the Gusecki over fan, but I like your team. Looks good. Um, and then finally... Obviously, I got Weston. Weston, I feel like you always have one of the best fucking teams. Like, Calvin Ridley just de decides to become the number one wide receiver in the fucking league. So, okay. Um, your team's good. Um, Dak's good. Kamara's great. Kenyon's been good. Juju's been good. Robert Woods. Ingram. And eh, Ridley's been nasty. Nasty. And you got a good bench. You have James Robinson on your bench, who's a fucking workhorse in Jacksonville. Emmanuel Sanders, not a great pickup. He kind of sucks. Zach Moss, who I think, you know, grinds out some work. Weston, I think you got the number one team. Um, so quickly, as I'm already running on 25 fucking minutes, uh, my superlative is the best at taking a punch um, is what I'm going to do. So... I'm going to go through 12 to number one, 12 being you get punched one time, you get knocked the fuck out. 
one meaning you're going to get punched in the face and you're just standing there like fucking hit me again um quickly um number 12 uh is gonna be kevin i think kevin gets punched in the face and he just fucking falls like a sack of potatoes easy done Cavs out no jokes um next billy billy this is really only because you're small you're not a big guy uh you got a big head but i think one hit to that fucking thing and, and you're on the ground um, so I put you at number 11 there. You're, you're getting knocked the fuck out. Um, number 10, I put Sage. Uh, why Sage? Because I just think you're kind of a bitch, uh, to be honest with you. So I think you get punched in the face and you're just down for the count. Um, that's it. Uh, number nine, Mark. There's really no reason for this one. I just think Sometimes I want to punch Mark in the face. So I think he, you know, has the, the face to get punched. And uh, I think he gets gets hit pretty hard and he doesn't take a punch very well. Um, number eight, I'm going to go Dan. I think Dan can take a punch. Um, I don't think he's going to get knocked out. I don't think he's going to stand up and be like, all right, let's go. Uh, I think Dan gets gets hurt pretty hard there. Uh, Nate, I'm putting you in number seven. Uh, you can't run away from everyone, dude. Um, they're going to catch you. They're going to fucking punch you in the face and that's it. Uh, I think your, your way out is running and you know, you're really good at that, but it can't always save you. Um, next I'm going to put Weston at number seven. Wes, you're an athlete, football player, basketball player, all that stuff, lacrosse. You can take a punch. I think you're in the middle of the road. You can take a punch pretty well. Uh, I'm going to put myself at six. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I could take a punch pretty decently. I've been punched a couple of times and it's okay. Yeah. I don't know. I'm a little bit bigger than I was, obviously, when I was in fucking high school. So uh, I put myself at six. Lewis, I'll put you at five. I'd like to see the fro get punched, honestly, dude, but uh, I think you take a pretty good punch. Um, I know your girlfriend beats you up every once in a while, so easy for you. Um, Corey, number four. You're a firefighter, dude. You're out there fighting blazes all day and shit. You can take a punch. That's easy. Nothing for you. You got your fucking gear on, your axe, your chainsaw, whatever you got, you'll fuck them up. No worries. Um, number three is... Fuck did I do? I feel like I'm missing someone, but... Um, three would be Andrew. I think Andrew would take a good punch. He's a big football guy. I think he takes a punch pretty well. Um, I really don't know what I did here. I think I'm missing someone. I don't know, obviously. Um, oh, I got you. I put two sevens. Sorry, boys. Um, best at taking a punch is Nard. I think that kid is a fucking brute. Um, big boy, strong motherfucker. Um, I think he's the kid you want on your side. Um, so, Nard, you get you get the crown jewel, my friend, of being number one on best at taking a punch. Um, so, boys, obviously, and everyone expected me to roast Holmes. You know, I threw a couple things in there just that he sucks. Um I personally thought that was fucking ridiculous. Um, I think there needs to be an adjustment. I, you know, there were people who agreed with me. There were people who agreed with Holmes. There were people that agreed it just should have been squashed, but Holmes had a fucking hard on for whatever reason to make me suffer. But whatever, you took away an awful player. So um, whatever, don't matter. Um, but boys, it's obviously week three, early in the season. A lot of shit's happened, a lot of injuries. So um, I think a lot of shit can happen. So you really don't know this early in the game, but, um, let's keep it up. Hopefully the, uh, the season continues and fuck where it comes.